Hello, 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 hello. Welcome, everyone. How's it, how is it going, everyone out there? Greetings, greetings. I am Saucy Mailman, greeted by my lovely co-caster, Indarin Wizard. <laughs> or itinerant wizard. You can say it in, in real person talk <laughs> if you want to. So we're here with a match tonight for Into the Wild uh, with Dr. Evil versus Matt at Arms. Should be a pretty, pretty good match. If it were Sunday, I'd be tempted to do the whole announcer Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. But I guess I'll have to do it Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. It's a uh, <laughs> Thursday night Hearthstone match. Let's go. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the Wild League. For those who don't know, um, here are the rules and the format of it. So it basically, the every week... We have the matches are played once per week, best of five conquest format. Players are required to win all three class with all three classes to achieve victory. Every other week, there's going to be a deck building challenge, which was last week. So this week, there's no challenge, no restriction. People can play whatever decks they want with their classes, um, but they are required to bring all nine classes. So three per week, and there are no bans. So. Uh, and we had week one, players could choose any three classes. Week two, players could choose three classes out of the remaining six. Week three, they could have to bring the remaining three classes. And then week four, class selection resets. Um, once a class has been selected for use, that class may not be used again until all the remaining classes have been selected. So this week we've got, um, what is everyone bringing? I don't even remember. It's been so long. Uh, all right, so this week we have uh, Dr. Evil is bringing uh, Warlock, Warrior, and Mage. And she's selected today to bring um, a Reno Warlock. Uh, you know, uh, we're all very big fans of, of Reno Lock these days. Um, uh, in the Warrior category, she's brought uh, a pretty fun-looking uh, Mech Warrior, uh, Mechs Galore. And then for Mage, she's got Reno Mage. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of Reno Jackson. We're going to yep. see a lot of yep. uh, Singletons going on tonight. We're going to get very uh, rich. Yes, indeed. Um, and meanwhile, Matt at Arms, uh, he has brought uh, Warrior and Shaman and Rogue. Uh, so his Shaman deck is a big Shaman. Uh, if we're lucky, we'll get to see some Eurekas and multiple uh, Kel'Thuzad's resurrecting, multiple Sylvanae, uh, and it's going to be awesome. Um, on the Warrior front, we have uh, a Control Cthune Warrior. Uh, we'll see how big Cthune is when he finally shows up. Yes. And then uh, probably my favorite of his three decks, um, an odd mech murloc rogue. This is going to be fun to watch. Seems amazing. Well, if you're ready, I'll let them know that they're good to go. Okay. Fire it up. All right. I'll let them know they are solid, and then we can get to the party. Gonna get to the party. Yeah, we had... Uh, so I just finished casting a game between Get Meowth and Eon, which was... A very good series as well. So let's see. Just looking back uh, past weeks, right? So um, Matt at Arms won. Uh, let's see. Did he win? Did he have a buy last week? I don't know. I don't I'm, know. So I'm I know, I know that uh, Dr. Evil is uh, undefeated so far through the first two weeks. She's been uh, killing been it. I heard she actually crushed uh, last week. And then... Well, let's see. So, Man at Arms won in week one. Oh, I'll shut up while the game gets started. But that should be see. good to go. Sweet. So, it looks like we have Man at Arms bringing the rogue. And we've got Dr. Evil with the mage. Indeed. So, uh, Matt's looking like he's got a really nice curve to open up. This is uh, the, uh, the unique one you were talking about. The mech rogue, yeah. Oh, I hear myself on your microphone. Oh, that is my fault. I had the stream in the background and not muted, and now it's it's muted. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty Mistake fat number one. Let's keep though. track. No. Uh, oh yeah, with all those five drops, he's gonna need that coin. But uh, Ziliax is good. Uh, let's see. Meanwhile, over uh, on Doctor, uh, on Taylor's side, a lot of a uh, lot of control with Polymorph and a Voodoo Doll and a Doomsayer. Now, did That's you say that us. the Dr. Evil's, it's a Reno mage? It's a Reno mage. Okay. That, that polymorph's going to have to go to the distance. That's true. I mean, if uh, if Mad at Arms just goes real fat on a big mech, um, we could see a good old polymorph. Yeah. Oh, 
Yep. Good old fashioned two two daggers. So it's interesting that he uh he didn't didn't attack there, right? So we've got a three um, so obviously he's got a, a turn three play. Uh, turn four play, maybe he's going to coin out one of the five drops. So thinking, or maybe he's also trying to hide some information yeah. from Taylor, making her think that uh, he's got um, a hench clan thug in hand. Super possible. Um, I mean, if this thug gets oh, polymorphed, which he does. How did I not see that? Right? How did you? How did you see that play? <laughs> I'm looking right at it. I got to get better at this. I need practice. We know that Taylor has a few ways. Doctor Evil has a few ways to. Um, get rid of this boy if she feels inclined. I mean, she could yep. let it live if she wants, then she could voodoo it all at next turn, but she says, hell no, time to do a big fireball. Yep, otherwise it's five to the face next turn. Yeah, he gets big. He is a scary man. I like the Finja. Yeah. I love this deck, the uh, Murloc mech odd rogue. I love it. It's gonna be nice. Well, let's see what happens here. Um... What do we got? We got uh, Dr. Uh, Taylor's got uh, Kazakis. Now she's drawn. Uh, let's see. What's that other card she's holding on? Gluttonous Ooze. Useful against a rogue. You know, sort of force him to uh, dagger back up if he doesn't want to. Probably debating between a few Kazakis here if you just play out the um, Doomsayer. You know, Finn's yeah. going to pull With some scary relatively stuff. Relatively little power on board. But, but can uh, get gross. Yeah, especially with cold blood in hand. Mm hmm. That does at the very least though it saves it saves Taylor seven damage, right? So Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna cold blood Finja. Hit uh and then you know hit with the dagger and then kill with Finja and that will bring yeah. something out of the deck. Oh no! Oh ordering Oh Matt. he did it in the wrong order. Oh that's unfortunate. Oops, yeah. Oh, he he re immediately recognized, yeah. Oh man, if I had money for every time I've done that, ugh, that's a thing. But now Taylor is staring down six power, nine power, 11 power figure in uh, dagger. That, Gotta that, decide uh, that how she fast. wants to get rid of this six four. I mean, you can just use, you've got the forgotten torch and hero power mm. if you want. Yeah. You also have the volcanic potion if you want to get frisky. Could she could potion. drop the sheep and the potion, and that kills everything. Yeah. Just torch hero power, a clean kill. Yeah. Which is reasonable. <laughs> if you're Dr. Evil, what do you think of that Finja? You're like, what is happening? <laughs> I, I, think if you're, I think if you're Dr. Evil, you uh, you say, well, thank goodness that uh, that didn't go the other way. So uh, gotta... Here's what we were talking about before, right? Yep. With, uh, with that mech that's going to get polymorphed. Now the question I have now, now does she wait? Does she wait until it gets even bigger to get more value out of that, that polymorph? Doll. I like voodoo doll here a lot. Cause you gotta think that there's gotta be some kind of one of the death oh, rattle mechs potentially. They just wanna get rid of. I mean she has so much removal, it's kinda just however she wants to do it though. Fair, that's true. No matter what, it is going to get dead. <laughs> An it eight is nine going away. is not long for this world. Nope. That is one thing that I know. Hmm. Looks like Dr. Evil's pointing at her own face with the voodoo doll. <laughs> Realized can't make the good play of kill yourself, so we'll go with the second best of get rid of the eight nine. Right. In the you know uh, the mage version of face tanking the big monster, the mm -hmm. big uh, minion. It's not super like concerned with. Really, anything else on the board? Nope. Got a lot of one threes out there. Dire mole, dire mole with upside, or dire mole with weird side. Yeah. I mean, she is getting low though. She's at seventeen. Seventeen, halfway there. Now you volcanic could potion. with the Drake. Well. I like Drake volcanic potion. Yeah. yeah. Draw a card, make everyone dead, minus the one. Leaves the one one, the Joey bot. Yep. Which is just enough for uh for Mad at Arms to pile on the Zilliax. So there's a benefit of the crystallizer, right? By dealing himself five damage to gain the armor, Zilliax gives him some life he can gain. Do the same thing with the sheep if you feel inclined. Yeah. 
This kills everything, depending if she wants to hit the sheep and then do the volcanic. She could ping the joke. If she pinged the, 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 the mecha roof first. Matter. Oh, I guess, yeah, she ping it afterward. Either way. And then you get a hit one to face oh, with your no. hero power if you want, or you can just gluttonous ooze. Gluttonous ooze is a good play, too. I mean, you're just trying to live. Yep. It's important not, that Zilliac's not doing anything. It's a big boy. Man, how good is Thug? That card is just so insane. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's the it's a card where like you just you have to answer it or or else. Now, Doctor Evil has a lot of plays that she can make here. I mean, getting out that Kazakus is good. I mean, you have the Roaring Torch and the Polymorph, so you're not super scared of much. Yep. And she could even play the, uh, what is that? The soul? Is it a right soul? Right for 10 mana. What's the three drop called? Soul something? The Manic Soulcaster? Yeah, Manic Soulcaster. I always want to call it the Soul Warden. I know that's not the name of the card, but I was like, ah, it's the Soul card. And there's yet another Fireball for the big minion. All right. Man, this mage just looked pretty good. Yeah, she's she's steadily answering every threat that Mad at Arms puts on the board. Keeping that ooze is gonna pay off. Yeah. And Matt's gonna run out of steam. It's looking like anyway. Eve is at 11. What potion did she get? I'll pull it up for everyone. Gain 10 armor and draw three cards. That's decent. Medi uh, above average <laughs> against the aggressive yes. deck. Yes. Negate two turns of your opponent's work. Gain four, chill. I like that play. Yeah. And now we see Mad at Arms just left with the lowly pirate. Top deck, top decking and hoping. So what does he got that might uh, that might give him the win? Uh, let me double check the list. You gotta keep that for a combo potential. Yeah. Gaining 10 here should just seal the game out. I'm not sure what you can do is the the mech murloc odd rogue that can get through this. Well, Dr. Boom could come down and uh, you know, give him some give him a little bit of punch on the on the on the on the ground, but then Taylor's still holding Reno and Soul Reno Soul Girl. Oh, she drew Reno. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. Matt just doesn't realize that the game is over. I mean, you don't have to play it, like, ever. Sure, start hitting face. I do love this deck that Matt at Arms built, though. I'll be honest. I agree. It's It looks really awesome. The crystallizers are interesting. That's what I want to ask about after these games. Okay. Got the arcane key smith drawn by Dr. Evil. So what do you do here if you're in Dr. Evil's spot? I think you just keep the board and just keep pressing. You just play a tempo ropes... Reno? I mean, you're not losing if you do. I know, right? It's 19 life. You it's, could not, soul, it's, not, not quite soul it's not totally tempo. And it's a four, 19, four attack minion. Yeah. That puts uh, Mad at Arms on a two-turn clock. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like soul castering it too. Oh, and just in case he's got something crazy up his sleeve, let's put Reno back in the exactly. deck. Exactly. I mean, Reno's good, but he's way better when you yeah. play him like 10 to 14 times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first game goes to Dr. Evil. Yep. So she's going to lead this With series so far. 1 0. Oh. That deck was cool, though. I liked it. Yeah. The the the, the rogue or the reno mage? i like them both honestly like They're... reno mage is i don't think it gets enough love but it's got reno in it so i'm a fan right and she I mean, she just had uh you know she had she was very careful with the way she uh used her cards to address the threats uh that matter arms was bringing out yep uh, and she just stayed up, kept her head above water kept steadily answering threats and then just flipped the game at the last yeah. on the last turn. Yeah, no, excellent, excellent well use done. of your removal, holding Reno till she needed it. Um, she was good, just good play. 
I let them know they're good to start the next match. So we'll okay. get them in. Uh, that I do love. I love the idea of the Murloc mech odd rogue though i mean finja is a card we haven't seen in a while and it's just it's powerful like it's just a powerful yep. card it would have been interesting to see if matt had uh, done the actions in the right order on that turn if what finja had brought out yeah right? if that i mean honestly that could have that could have gotten it because she was getting low she was down to what 15 at one point yeah because so uh all right so we're gonna see the uh Cthune warrior yeah versus the reno lock yep all right, so uh, in, long, guys. slow game. <laughs> Indeed, long, slow game, and then uh, we'll see. You know, we'll see how big Cthune gets before he shows up. Oh, it's Mechathune. Oh, Mechathune! How did I miss that? Cthune and Mechathune. I love it. Matt he does at have arms, both. Matt at arms yeah. is vying for my heart. <laughs> he has both. We were joking before the cast. Uh, we were looking through Doctor Evil's deck list, and I was like, "Man, Doctor Evil just does not want me to ever eat dinner tonight." Playing a couple <laughs> Reno decks. <laughs> All right, Mio. So, uh, yeah, Blood Reaper Gul'dan in the hand to start, so we know he'll come out later on. Mm -hmm. Zakus, Giggling, Void Lord. Got our both players Tharsan. with one of my favorite cards, Emperor Tharasan. Very nice. Let the Doom Counter begin. Man, Giggling Inventor, that's a card we've seen just so much of in both standard and one. The uh, I was uh, I heard a statistic today that and this is uh, I was I was listening to the most recent episode of Into the Wild and uh, I think uh Wildcard was saying it's in something like thirty six percent of decks. Yeah. Entirely. And like two percent of all cards played are giggling inventor. Yeah, it's insane. It's like why yeah. would you not? Yep. Blood Razor gonna clean up both minions, but not super worried about that. Yeah, got in. He got in the hit with the. Uh, it's with the worst burn Five of time. or a ten potion here. Five or, yeah. yeah, five. So we got summon a five five looking like. Oh, that's what. Yeah, and then deal five damage. So she's, so Doctor Evil's going uh, aggressive with this potion this time, so that she can uh, take and hold the board. Yeah, is my guess. I mean, so if, uh, you have the tools. Comes... You have the tools to aggro out a warrior as the warlock player. So I think she's just realizing maybe she has to kill him before Cthune get, becomes a thing. Yep. And Metal Arms is going to want more of uh, more minions on Doctor Evil's side before yeah. that Dry Whisker Armorer comes out. But a little board control here. Pump up your Cthune number one a couple times here. Yep. I adore that this has double Cthune in it. I wonder if we'd see them both. I, mean, I if the sure first hope Cthune so. Comes down and doesn't win the game. Oh man, that was a good pickup by Eve, though. Yep. Void Son pulling out a Void Daddy is always good. Void Lord OP, man. Void Lord OP. It's a, it is not the worst card you could play. <laughs> nope, not by a long stretch. Now, Dr. Evil could, if she wanted, blow up her own Void Son to summon a Void Daddy and a 5-5. Five five. I mean, that's... I'm saying but that is could, a play. You could clear the other two. <laughs> uh, yeah, she could. <laughs> you could also defile or just, yeah, go all out. Yeah, Tharison, let's do it. Yeah, with a, with a hand that size, she's going to get this kind of a ton of cards. We're going to see dueling Tharisons here. Could be cool. I'm all about it. All right, so Matt can get two activations if he casts that second Blood Razor this turn, right? So he can do, mm -hmm. but that's one short of killing Thorson. He can just kill it with the one cheat, what he has. Oh, those are punch it. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Do we see Thorson? Do we see Thorson? I mean, you only have Cthune in your hand. It's not that exciting. The yeah, but if Thorson lives crazy. another turn, Warpath is zero. Although I guess the copies would, would still cost two. But I almost like doing nothing, keeping that Void Sun alive. Yeah, because like. Whatever it pulls is probably a lot scarier than a 3-1. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I also am a fan of when you're playing Warrior, the whole do-nothing turn. Like, I think it's fine. Play the um, the Jeopardy music in the background. Mm -hmm. Yep. Get a, little, uh, get a little mod for Hearthstone and change your theme music. That'd be cool. <laughs> I love it. I'm surprised no one's done it yet. Uh, of course, you know, probably know someone has done it. 
as warrior, you want to be reactive, right? So I think it's fine yeah. to just do really nothing. As long as you know you can do nothing and stay ahead of your what your opponent can hit you in the face with. This is good for Dry Whisker if you wanted to go with that. Yeah, and then Warpath. Warpath is scary just because of the, what the guy uh, does. Yeah. And I think like Doctor Evil did a great job of realizing that you it's scary to play your blood. Go for it. There you go. Your whirlwind effects. You've got to, right? Yeah. He's gonna have to do it eventually, otherwise he's sitting there, you know, just letting the thing hit him for three. If of only Mad at Arms had one more mana, he could shield slam it. Yeah. He's and still gonna have back. a because he's only, you know, he's not gonna, he's, he's still gonna have a ton of armor after this is done. Oh, don't mind me, still sitting here with almost forty. Come at me, come at me, bro. That's a, yeah, it's a good Dreadlord. Yep. Dr. Evil's debating if they want to tap or not. This is a match that can go to fatigue, so it is kind of scary to have cards. This is off a good pickup, though. Yeah, so uh, Mad at Arms is, uh, has three more cards in his deck than Dr. Evil. Weapons Project, interesting. Yeah, let's see, is he running Harrison in this one? He is not. Shield slime, not bad. Four class, pretty clean here. Yep. Takes almost everything off the board. Well, then he, then he can just do a punch. And he could do... Yeah. Yeah. Well, the... Oh, yeah. There you go. Face tank it. Gain some armor. The other thing is, the warrior doesn't have hardly any cards in hand. That's the downside. Yep. What card so draw? To... Do you know what card draw Mad at Arms has in here to well, let's make that Mega Thune work? I'm not seeing any. I think he's just oh! planning to stay alive. Oh, this could have been gross if, if that pulled the Mega Thune. Yeah. Man. Oh, that bummer. That Kazakus potion, though. Yep. Yeah. Oh, bummer for Mad at Arms. Dr. Evil does not want to have awesome. any fun tonight. She says, yeah. no, uh-uh, let's kill that right only, now. I'm the only one with discounted cards in this game. And the Zoth over on the other side of the board, and Reno. Things are not looking good for Mad at Arms. No? With no card draw, he can't, uh, he can't catch up. Weapons Project will give him a bunch of armor. Maybe he plays a Temple Mechathune just to get 10-10 uh, on the something. board. And there's his buddy. All right, let's do it. Going for it. Man, that could have been Something. dangerous. Man, that could have almost just straight killed Eve. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. And now now she's got to no have an answer for soul. it. Yeah. <laughs> Warlocks never run Siphon Soul, right? Oh. No. Oh. Darn. Let's do a little heal. You're in yeah. such a good spot with that many cards. Yeah. Mm, we got our own rat if we want. Yeah. Uh, no problem. It would have been, I mean, it could have hit the Reno or the Nazoth, so that was a scary one for Eve. Yep. Yeah, I'm sure Mad at Arms was hoping he'd uh, get a better uh, a better target off of that. Mad at Arms like, you know what? I got enough health. I'm going to hit this girl. Hit yep. this gnome for Ratu. <laughs> Got a few good plays if you're Eve here. Yeah, no, no reason to play Gul'dan. Could if you want to though. You've had a few, few could. good ones die. Yeah. I guess she could, uh, she could uh, run her guys into the rat, mm -hmm. uh, just to get rid of them and it. And you get and a then... Dreadlord back, so you can pop it up if you want yeah. to. Dreadlord, you might get uh, Void Daddy, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and his, his Void babies. And his, yep, and his son, his Void son. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what she's gonna do. Just fill the board. There it yep. is, and the five-five. Oh right, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that's like so the this perfect. This is a uh, uh, pretty insane GG. board. We may just see a two-zero here pretty quickly. Yeah. 
even though yeah i guess with, with the reno lock and the Cthulhu warrior we were expecting the game to go on for a good long time dark bomb sure hellfire is that just you just have the game there? that's a lot of damage yeah not this turn but it's looking inevitable yeah, the warrior's gonna need to draw this card that some warriors play called brawl i brawl. think it's this new one they're running the new kids are they're testing out <laughs> uh, oh and there it the is and there he goes all right this could swing the game back yeah at least give uh, a breath of uh, breath of fresh air man it's sitting uh, there praying to yog give me that one three baby nope oh always the five five oh. right the big one the big one lived All right. All right. I am interested about this, this Mechathune. Like, why is it here? Not that I'm <laughs> complaining, but why is it here? A couple void dads, let's, sure. Why not? Revenge for the full damage, but that's not going to be enough. Nope. And it looks like Taylor's going to take this game, Dr. Evil, up 2-0 against Mad at Arms. The fun police, Dr. Evil, getting it with the second game. Indeed. Fun police. <laughs> Man, excellent play for my both players, though. Um, I think Dr. Evil did a great job realizing that she was the aggressor in this matchup. Um, yeah. Good Kazakis potion, getting the 5 damage, 5-5. Five, five. Um, good luck. She she did a great job of having her 5-5 five, five win the brawl. So <laughs> <laughs> that was a good play on her part. It was an excellent play. Great foresight. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the, you know, with the dirty rat was good. Yeah, you're right about the, the switch to uh, you realizing she was the beatdown mm -hmm. uh, as the, the warrior was just going to sit back and, and, and just keep armoring up and, and hoping to uh, to just ride it out. I think that's one thing a lot of control like players like forget when they're playing control decks is sometimes you have to be the aggressor. Um, so great, great job on that. Yeah. So I wonder if the Mechathun uh, is in there as the sort of alternate to the to the fatigue condition, right? So if you find yourself in fatigue against yeah. another warrior, uh, right? Because well, Doctor Evil is playing warrior in yeah. her in her so. Or some tog waggle shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. All right, so yeah, we're in game number three. It looks like Mad at Arms playing the Shaman. And Taylor bringing the Mech Warrior. Mech Warrior. Yeah, so so uh, Mad at Arms' is Shaman is the big Shaman. So uh, lots of big, lots of, obviously from the name, lots of big things. Oh, and there's running the Eureka. Eureka. Yeah. Oh, Along Eureka's... with a fair amount of uh, Shaman control with... Uh, with um, AOE and Evolve. I'm excited to see how this goes. Nice. Healing Wave, a card we haven't seen in a while. I, uh, so I, I had fun with, with, uh, with that card in the Puzzle Labs the other day. Um, when, uh, yeah, when you open up a puzzle and both decks are empty, and you see that card, you're like, okay, somehow I have to get one of my opponent's cards into my deck. Mm -hmm. But, oh, Dynamatic, very nice. Uh, Mech Warper on the board. Dynamatic is such a sweet what? card. No. Um, it has just been, like, every time I've played that, it's just wrecked. Like, it's the anti, um, anti odd paladin card. It does so much damage when it hits the board. I think, okay. That yeah, Taylor's debating there. Dr. Evil's thinking, do I give this guy a rock? Mm -hmm. Oh, Camilos, what are you doing Camilos, here? Camilos, welcome to the party. What are you doing here? We how we don't often get to actually just see this card. Here's the artwork for you guys. Because <laughs> it's never <laughs> it's never on the field. <laughs> right. It's always uh, ultimate infestation. <laughs> or it's always a uh, Aviana. <laughs> I like this. Just get that shredder out. You saw it evolve. Yeah. That's the worst that could happen, right? Right. Ooh, and Hagatha. I like that. This is spi another spicy deck by Matt. Matt at Arms bringing all the spice. Indeed. 
Do you maelstrom here? Yeah, um, he's looking for something to Eureka, and I I appreciate that. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, he's going to be overloaded. He's only going to have three mana next turn, but he could cast Eureka the turn after that. Could also, and he may may lightning storm too, depending on what scary things come out. He may. But Which will delay, delay Dodger Eureka Evil has a mech now. Oh no, the replicating menace. She does not go with it. it uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. You get to be worried about Hex. True. Camilo's getting in more face damage. <laughs> yeah, Metal Arms may... Uh... Well, let's see. If he Maelstrom portals here, he just creates a bunch of microbots. Likewise, if he Lightning Storms. And then whatever comes out of the Shredder. I mean, the Shredder is going to definitely have a uh, a Doomsayer in it, right? That'd be great play on that part if that's what happened. Ooh, Matt, you, you played you it wrong. It, low rolled it. You oh, wanted no. to get three damage on that, not two. <laughs> Every Shaman player ever just sort of felt a kick in the knee. <laughs> yep, always. I love the War Gear play here. Just, just jam it. Let's go. It's 10 damage coming to the face from the warrior. I mean, you know, oh, white eyes too. This deck is spicy. I hope, I hope we can get there. This yeah. is a great maelstrom though. Yeah, maelstrom and oh, doesn't and have get enough a of brain to follow, but yeah, doomsayer. doomsayer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Nope. Well, now you can target minions with your warrior armor, so this is good. <laughs> <laughs> we got eight damage 11 if we want to dynamatics actually very good here you might kill your own sniper yeah but you go face it's not bad or i mean giggle is fine you can give one of your uh anoyotrons rush and that'll pick out the uh or she could take out the um, the totem. I like taking out the totem. Spell damage yeah. is very good. I mean, you've already seen a few spells. Was an error. She could have kept the divine shield. I don't think it's fine either way. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, if she attacked the other way, she could have also, she could have also gone face. With the, uh, that's true. Could save Matt here. 4, 7, 10, 30, 14, 14 health on the board. It's perfect. Leaves him overloaded next turn, but he'll still have enough next turn to cast Eureka, which would put his Nizapa White Eyes on, on the board. Yep. Or you can also or uh, Healing else. Wave Lightning. Yep. Healing Wave is especially good in this deck with a bunch of fat minions. Yeah. And I think uh, White Eyes may be his uh, cheapest minion, so he may have already drawn that. Okay. No, nope, he's also got Electra. Cinematic, strong. So, do you go for the Eureka? Oh, yeah. And hope for the taunt. Is yeah, I think yeah, he runs the risk of, of dying. Only yeah. five on board, but, um, you know, probably a reasonable guess that Zilliax is in this deck. I think it's a fine play. Yep. You don't get enough value with Lightning Storm there, so I'm I like it. You want this? You want to play that? You know, white eyes a hundred more times. Oh, dynamatic! You savage. Indeed. I could do eight damage, nine, ten damage. No, you can only do nine. I think I see nine. Still, nine's not bad when your opponent's at twelve. Right. Ooh, we may we may see a quick third game. Really? You know. Well, uh, let's see. Healing wave. Healing Attack. wave does give Matt some hope. Likely heals fourteen. Oh no, oh, the nullifier! No. And Matt at arm low rolls. Tail low oh, Doctor Evil there. playing the nullifier there. That was the right play on her part. <laughs> What a 
Hearthstone God uh -oh. Dr. Evil is. Well played. And that will do it. RNG, not in Mad at Arms' favor today. Not today, at least. And Taylor with that, that crispy lethal. Dr. Right. Evil, you monster. Just crushing it again. Monster. Got that 3-0. Man, she, she has just been doing crazy good this entire thing. Yeah, so she's so that's uh, in three matches, uh, she's only lost one game, if I remember. She went 3-1 and then 3-0. Yeah, so that makes 3-0. So uh, that probably puts her in first place. It's crazy. Let me see. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, some guy, some of them on the calls here. Do, 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 okay. do, do. Let me add them. Eve and Matt Adams. All right, let's see. Can can you still hear me? I can. Cool. This is always the fun part when we try and get the calls to work. So. Right. Let, let me try and redo the call. Give me one second. Okay. Let's just try this. Let's try this. All right. Is this working? Taylor. I do. Dr. Evil. All right. Uh, okay. We're holding I on. I can hear you. She's holding on. Okay. Okay. We're going to call... Call Appa. <laughs> and to do Matt at Arms. Remove and add him again. Do do do. Matt. Add. There we go. Discord is a Discord is a treat sometimes. Right. But it's free software, so what can we say? What up, Matt? Hey, how's it going? Good. We're just hey, waiting Matt. for Dr. Evil, but I Dr. have Dr. Evil to... living up to her name today, that's for sure. I have sure. to first say, your decks make me smile. I was very happy those games. I just wish I didn't completely misplay with Finja. I know. But... My heart sank. I was, I was like, I hope he doesn't. No, it happened. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's one of those. That's probably the best deck I brought, and I just completely pooped the bed with it. Just I had the hand yeah. to make an amazing Finja right. play. Hey, what's up? Hey, sorry, my nope. mic is weird. You're good. We know it hates you, so it's okay. <laughs> but we love you. <laughs> good game. Good games. Yeah, good, good games, game. Taylor. Yeah, we were Thank talking you. about. I think in that game, if if you had killed the man with your finja and pulled the dudes, it could have been a very yeah. different game. Yeah, because I would have at least pulled out at least maybe one war leader, maybe two. Mm -hmm. What and other yeah, that, what other murlocs did you have in that deck? I just had the nightmare amalgam and two war leaders. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would probably been a lot harder for me to deal with had that happened. Yeah, because yeah. I had the war gear and the Zilliax in my hand, ready to go. Interesting. And, but I noticed you also had, like, uh, the deck hand in there. So was that, like, a pirate murloc you know, odd rogue? It's just basically an odd rogue shell with the water pa water mech package. Gotcha. Thing. Just the standard water so, mech package. Water mech odd rogue, you know. Murloc mech odd rogue. It's what all the kids are playing. I was exactly. really hoping we'd see Iron Sensei hit the board, but he didn't it, show it, up. It's in there. It's, yeah. It was in there somewhere. I got to have my fart jokes in any deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that you had that one card left in your hand um, when you were playing your warrior deck, and I was like, I could not figure out for the life of me what that last card was. It was you said Mech it was, um, <laughs> Yeah, you should have just slammed that on the board. Yeah, I was afraid. Of, I was like, you know, I should probably could have should have, but it's one of those. Yeah. I imagine if I, it, if I would have made it to five games, I would have been a nice surprise. But yeah. yeah. Sausage Mailman and I were wondering if you were going to play the Tempo Mechathune and then 
you drew the regular Cthulhu. So clearly, in in that situation, the, you slammed the right one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, you yeah. did have Cthune and Mechathune in that deck. Yep. I didn't even think about that. Which is pretty cool. Huh. I figured, figure, you know, why, two is better than one, but yeah. obviously not. <laughs> when you need another Cthune. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I almost played Gnome Ferrat 2, too, on that turn, right when you drew your Cthune. <laughs> so I would have done it, but I was being greedy. I was like, I was no, waiting that, to draw Bran and then Bran and Prot too, but that didn't happen. That that would have been actually absolutely perfect of my uh, my luck tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? I do have to, uh, Eve. I have to compliment you. Uh, I think that the game where you played with the Reno Warlock, I think, was excellent, excellent play. Realizing that you needed to be the aggressor in that matchup, um, so that was just just great. Start hitting him in the face. The five damage five five minion was amazing but i think the best one of the best plays you made was you choosing to have your five five live through the brawl was great so that was a oh great i know play. i was like Heck yeah i'm so good at this game <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was a nice brawl <laughs> i got lucky there yeah, I was looking at top deck it but i'm like as soon as i saw the five five pop up i'm like oh, God, no, dang it's not it. the right one always <laughs> i know uh, so, Matt at Arms, I wanted to ask about the uh, the crystallizer in the rogue deck. Right, mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering is that was that a bit of um, uh, a bit of synergy with Ziliax? Sort of, you know, if your opponent wasn't damaging you, you could do damage to yourself and 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 boost your life total up over tw over thirty, which rogues normally can't do. Pretty much, that's the idea. But you know, it's also the fact that it's like a it's like, you know a third or fourth dire mole. Yeah. Yep. Good stats. So, and Dire Mole's really good, except when you're playing against Reno decks. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know, I'm sorry. I figured you'd be bringing like decks like um, Even Shaman and Odd Rogue and stuff, and I was like trying to figure out what would be good against that because I'm used to use I'm used to losing a lot against Even Shaman and Odd Rogue on ladder, so I wanted to bring well, something that was kind of greedy and controlly. Well, one of my decks in prep for this week was an even shaman. Oh, good! I'm glad you changed your mind. But it was a totem even shaman with wicked witch doctor. Oh. So I'm not sure how well that would have done against your lineup. What What was your shaman deck? Was it just like an Insoth? It was like a basic Insoth, big greed shaman. Okay, with I, I saw you had wide eyes in there. I was like, heck yeah. Yeah, I have wide eyes. I had. Uh, uh, the Sneasel Shredder, Sylvanas, okay. a few others, yeah, with Eurekas yeah. and, and, a, few other, and a few other new cards that, you know, when when you far side to a three-mana Eureka and then mm -hmm. uh, play a, you know, Electro yeah. Storm Surge for, you know, double Eureka, it's pretty good. No, it's sweet, mm -hmm. yeah. Also, but, uh, Dr. Evil just blocking your healing wave there with the Beryllium Nullifier. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that's, know. you know, <laughs> I was, I was not expecting a seven drop in that deck. It was pretty I hot. I think that was the highest mana minion I have in that deck, yeah. I think. <laughs> that I was, was like, super oh, unlucky. Yeah, and as you were mousing over that, I was I was frantically calling up your list, Matt, like, what's the lowest cost minion in this deck? I think it's a five. We got a good shot here, but early <laughs> Nullifier, unfortunately, gave you the, the elbow drop. Oh, it's all right. Yeah. All right. I, hey, I, I I lost fair and square. I'm perfectly happy with the outcome. <laughs> I had fun. Yeah, and my own misplay killed My own misplay killed me. Yeah, that I think that would have changed things because in that game, I'm pretty sure uh, Doctor Evil is down to like 11 or 15 health. So a couple mm -hmm. more, a couple more uh, war leaders could have really done a lot. Yeah. 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 I was getting pretty low there. It was making me a little nervous, but then I, I draw into Reno, and I was like, okay. Time to get rich. <laughs> that, uh, that Reno Mage was very sweet. I liked that deck a lot. Yeah. Um, I haven't played with it all too much yet, but I was testing it out on ladder right before um, okay. we started, and I queued up into... Um, what was he playing? He was either... I think it was a Starliner Druid deck, and I was able to dirty rat copy the dirty rat 
again and like just dirty rat all of his yeah. stuff out of his hand nice. and he just conceded. Very nice. <laughs> I was like, heck yeah, okay, well this might work. Yeah, dirty rat seems exceptionally good in that deck because you have like the polymorphs, you have the uh, voodoo dolls, so you have a lot of cheap ways to interact with your pro targets. Yeah. That was another game. I thought you like played it perfectly with your removal, like using the voodoo doll instead of the uh, polymorph, and then the turn where you were able to use the uh, um, the volcanic potion was really good. Um, the sheep was great. So I thought it, I think you did an amazing job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, very well played. Thank, thank you. Thank you guys for hosting us. Yeah. Casting us. Did, do you guys have anything else you want to say about the games or the decks? Uh, I don't think so, honestly. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's like I might just you let know, them speak for delete, themselves. Yeah, delete them and start over. Maybe I'll keep the, the Finger Road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, what? I'm excited. I'm Kind of wanting to go test these out in wild now. Yeah. Ladder and see how I do with them. I think I'm going to take that mage. I like that a lot. I might play some of that. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got the list. I'll send it over to you. Yeah. I like <laughs> it. Maybe we'll be streaming Reno Mage the next night. Oh, gosh. Well, we'll see you Matt at Arms, where can people find you on the internet? Uh, find me on Twitter at Matt at Arms. Um, find me on the Hero Power podcast on Wednesday nights at 7.30. Talking about Hearthstone and having fun with Avantes and Zeroshio and whoever else else is that show up. So. Awesome. And what about you, Dr. Evil? I'm on Twitter, just twitter.com slash Dr. Evil underscore HS. And the wizard? Uh, I am on Twitter at itinerant wizard uh, and also on Twitch uh, at the same, you know, twitch.tv slash itinerant wizard. I uh, recently started streaming, and then I went on a month-long trip for work. So hmm. all my stuff is old and about to about to delete. But that's okay. I'll get some more stuff up there. <laughs> hey, it happens. Yeah. Um, and how about you, Saucy Mailman? Yeah, can, where can people find you? You can find me anywhere on the internet to just at Saucy Mailman. I stream Monday through Friday evenings. Uh, we usually play a lot of memes, like we were playing Even Hunter all last night. So uh, hmm. yeah, I only stream wild, so check me out there on Twitter, all that. And also, everyone make sure that you follow Into the Wild HS on Twitter as well as on Twitch um, so that you can be notified when these games go live. And then you can uh, watch all of us be big dum-dums and play some, play some games. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Playing games and having fun is what it's all about. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you, everyone, for watching. You're all amazing. And hopefully we, you guys come and see the rest of the games. Good night, right, everyone. Thanks, guys.